Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr., and we are about to begin the third act of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. We have found all the star maps. It is time to head to the Star Forge. Um, I know that there's going to be a slight detour along the way. Spoiler alert. Uh, it's one of those things that got spoiled when uh, when I played the Old Republic uh, before playing this game. So, ah, uh, well, what can you do, right? But uh, just to recap, we we've been all over the galaxy. We found all five pieces of the star map to locate the Star Forge. The last one was on Korriban, home of the Sith. And so we, we finished, we got all that Sith knocked out. And uh, we finished up by going over to the Yavin station and um, doing our last little encounter with the Trandosians. And off camera, I went ahead and started uh, making sure that everybody was about as well equipped as I get it. I did not spend quite the uh, the amount of time I, I really wanted to to do that. I also didn't get around to leveling everybody because the Yavin station really doesn't seem to be the best place for that. So we got some spiffy new armor. <laughs> it is a heavy exoskeleton, which counts as medium armor, has a defense bonus of 13, plus two max dex. Bumps up our con, bumps up our strength, and uh, all very, very nice. I, I know that technically, traditionally, I should be one of the robed Jedi, um, but I'm not willing to drop drop my, uh, keep moving the mouse like you can see it on the screen there. <laughs> I keep forgetting that doesn't show up. Um, I don't, I, I, it's hard to die if they can't hit you. So I like to keep the AC as high as I can get it. The defense next to that shield in the bottom left. Because I keep pointing. A um, couple other guys got a nice little upgrade. You know, um, Candorus is still walking around with Kalo Nord's armor. But he does have a new battle cannon equipped. And a couple other spiffy upgrades. And we even got Karth some nice new armor. And uh, just some new stuff all around for everybody. So, what I want to do is I want to... I want to go ahead and head to the station. I'm pretty sure everybody's about as set as I can get them. I think everybody's done all the talking we're going to do. Although, now that I say that, let me step outside to see if Jolie's going to ding. Because if he does, that probably means that we can talk to him real quick. Um, and maybe get a little more information. Yeah? No? No? Okay. It was worth a shot. Um, ooh, and let me double check this guy down here. I do want to make sure that I have bought everything that I need to buy, that I've sold everything I need to sell. Um, I'm pretty sure that's already been done. Um, <laughs> come on. Last one. There we go. Alright. Uh, what you got? I know those Trindosian lizards are waiting to strike again. Just a matter of time. What can I do for you? You can show me what you got for sale. Alright, so a lot of this stuff that I've already sold to him, like the antidote kit and the med packs and repair kits and some of the extra robes and whatnot, that light exoskeleton, um... I think somebody, I think I got it, somebody that could use it, but I, I don't I actually don't have enough money for that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And the Messiah ceremonial armor, I believe I sold to him. 
the Republic armor, I know I did. The Achani armor, I did. I, I wore that stuff through most of the game. Um, decent armor, but again, one of those things that I really wanted to unload and uh, make sure that everybody was about as well equipped as I could get before we went on. You know, I sold the Mandalorian, Mandalorian battle armor and a bunch of the the lightsaber crystals that I wasn't using. I checked all the different combinations of what I had running and uh, the three Jedi I have remaining. <laughs> because remember, Bastila was captured. Um, they are about as tapped out as I can get them. Um... Some of the some of these implants would be nice, but we kind of ran out of money. So there that is. I mean, we could probably run around. I I didn't do the last bit of the racing on Manan, and that would give me some extra money. But uh, the spare time for that kind of work has been a little a little short, shall we say? Now, I've mentioned it on other streams. My mother got a new job, and, which is awesome. Uh, except she's needed help moving, so <laughs> a lot of my spare time over these over the last month has been spent helping her move, which is great and all, but um, not not when you have other things you need to be doing off camera. Uh, so he didn't ding, but let's uh, let's try to have a quick chat with him real quick just to see if we've Got taken this as far as mind. we can. Got something on your mind, do you? Uh, do you want to talk about the war? Not yet? particularly. No time like I'm the present. Interested in your demands? I'll tell my story when I'm damn good and ready, which isn't now. So shoot. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's get back up here into the main star map. And let me switch this over to desktop. Because again, uh, for those of you not who haven't been following along so far and new to this or just jumping in, for some reason the game really, really likes crashing uh, when it switches to the pre-rendered cutscenes. And I don't know if it's a problem with the video renderer running on Windows 10, because again, it was made a while ago. Um, Alright, so... We are... Here on Yevon. Uh, Kashyyyk, we've already done. Uh, that's why I can't pick it, because Dantooine is blown away. Manan is mostly done. Tatooine is done. Korriban is done. Then, this is it the Star Forge system. This planet has no entry in the Republic archives. Dun 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 dun. Travel. And cue that beautiful cutscene. Dramatics. I. I'll return back to my earlier statement. I. I really. We. We don't need this. This is the third or fourth time that we've left the station. How many times do we need to see the ship leaving the station in a dramatic fashion? And hear the John Williams-esque score as we speed off to hyperspace and beyond. Ah, uh, or something like that. <laughs> All right. And I get a funny feeling we're gonna head to another cutscene. No, we can see. So, meanwhile, you are strong, child, but I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You are a fool. Torture. No, dear Bastula, you misunderstand. This is, this but, a is but a taste of the, of the dark, dark, dark side, side to whet your appetite. Uh, I don't, when I you don't think it works that way. loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Mm. Never. <laughs> so 
such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> so this is what's been happening to Bastila the whole time we're on Corban. Huh. Game's not telegraphing that we're gonna have to square off with her at some point in the future, is it? Sorry, I forgot the camera wasn't on and you couldn't see the wry look on my face. That's okay. We're about to get caught in a sunspot. I mean, it looks like it. Either that or... Ooh, no? No? Something... Well, that can't be good. Huh. Wonder where all the ships are going. Uh-oh. New cutscene. Or back to the, the game. Star Forge. No, new cutscene. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. It'd be a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Uh -oh. Small vanguard of Sith <laughs> fighters coming in hard. Oh yeah. Someone needs to here get we go. Gun Back to the gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. The game I epically suck at because for some odd reason it really lags behind with this trackball. All right, here we go. Same old mini game. Kind of wish I had a chance to save it before we got to there, just in case it crashed. Or it just went badly. Because the last time... Incoming fighters! Go on. Eat hot laser. Alright, that's at least a couple of them. Should be come on. Come on. Where's the last one? There we go. That went better than normal. Probably because I was complaining about it. Isn't that how that works? That's how that works. Okay. We just had a big battle. Oh, uh, we've got problems. We've floated some kind of and we've got problems. Field. All my of instruments are jammed. We've, we've got, got massive problems. overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a this rough may landing. This may be a rough landing. I get a bad feeling about this. When you put the sad music on, that means really bad things are about to happen, doesn't it? Well, at least it's a pretty place to crash. Man, you said rough landing. That ain't rough. Like a leaf on the wind. Only we didn't lose our pilot. All right, Ooh, back to the game. Talk no, about your rough scene. landings, Karth. What's the rough matter? Rough landing? You're flying like you've been what? on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. 
That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. Hmm. Well, those are two very good questions. The disruptor field could wipe out the entire Republic fleet, which would be a problem. And I do wonder why the Sith ships aren't affected by the disruptor field. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet hmm. won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, yes. or the Sith will slaughter Thank you, Captain them. Obvious. T3's picking up Ooh, massive beep. power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. T3 saying, They seem to be coming obvious. from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient hmm. temple. Oh. Uh, go check it out. I thought we needed to find some stabilizers for the ship. Well... Since it does seem to be a topic of conversation. Well, we haven't forgotten about her, but we can't do her much good stuck down here. We have to help ourselves before we can help her. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. <laughs> Even together, they're no match for me. I used to be a Sith Lord, remember? No. Uh, let's do the Bastila would never I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's uh, ease off I'm on the Revan thing. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila is on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Carl. <laughs> yeah, so that sounds like a real so easy plan, right? Well, we'll just, uh... We'll just saunter on over there, pick up some spare parts, investigate the temple. Alright, uh, what are the odds everybody's got new conversation options? Let's got try it. something on your mind, do you? Uh, do you know anything about this place? Hard to say what this planet is. Been lost for thousands of years, if not more. <laughs> Smells like bad, bad karma, so watch your step. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Not particularly. <laughs> yeah, you saw the cup. I oh. Alright, I'll ask again later. Uh what about you? You got anything? My Cathar blood seed set the thought of that man still running free. No, no, you're, you're still obsessed still with the it, but, dude we left we found earlier. The dark side either. He will pay for his crimes though. He will most likely be following us. Me. If we could find him first, that he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. Okay. Yeah, what, what do you, you want? Do you know this anything about the world? Odd. It looks like a battlefield, but the environment here is lush and green. Whatever happened here was a long time ago. I have seen many hmm. strange worlds in my time, but this world is stranger still. Stranger. I don't like this place. Something happened, or is happening here, and I don't like it. We should get out of here as soon as possible. Do you have anything else you want to ask? No. Nope. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. <laughs> Alright, I got a funny feeling nobody else has anything new to say, so let's, uh... You know what? But it's the minute I say that. I know Statement. he's got nothing new to say, HK47 but... Is ready to serve, Master. He's always funny. Yeah, no. As you desire, nothing Master. New. Signing off. Alright, he's gonna beep and boop me. Yes, what about your mind? Do you know I don't really know much place? about this place. Sorry.
Uh, we've already talked about me being Darth Revan, you so we'll go with Nevermind. What about you? Hey there. Mission? What can I do for you? Yeah, I don't know. Nothing new here. But we'll ask How about planet anyway. How am I supposed to know anything about this planet? It's an uncharted world and an unexplored quadrant. I didn't even know this planet was here. Didn't you come back here when you were the Dark Lord? If you don't remember anything about this place, then I, I, I guess we're just stumbling in the dark. Sorry I can't be more help, you know? Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, nope. Okay, Not right now. have it your way. Okay, have it your way. What about you, Z? Something that you want. Alright, um, we got the eternal question about Revan. Problem, anything more to say, so... Yeah, I guess it's, uh, you know anything about the planet we're on? I don't know much about the planets we visit, but I suppose I should learn. Nice. Thanks for that. When you have someone else, I will listen as well. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we'll talk later then. Alright. Then let's get this party started. Alright. Who do I want with me? Um I'm gonna go ahead and take Jihani. I've been using her a lot lately because uh Having a Jedi with some of the extra powers is awfully helpful. What I need now is a big gun to stand in the back. Uh, I'm tempted to take T3 just in case we got some security stuff running, but I don't. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, probably not until the last part. <laughs> uh, Z, I haven't taken him out in a while. And definitely, would, we would definitely be able to level him up a little bit because he seems to be drifting behind. No, oh, yeah, not that far. Could always take HK though. He's always good for some laughs. And Karth, we haven't used him in a while either. And while he doesn't have a big gun, he does dual wield and can send some damage downrange. And he's got a fair, fair number of skills. Um. Let's go ahead and take Candorus with us. I mean, I like HK for the uh, speaking options, but uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just go with that. Yeah, I'm sure that's the party I want. All right. Welcome to the beautiful beaches of the mysterious unknown planet. Okay. So we got those stupid little Giza lizards. Find out where our perimeter is. Alright. Let's get some bearings up on our mini map in the top left there. I was hoping that since we get all these wreckages, we might find a box like ooh, looks like we got one over there battered footlocker well wow, since it looks like whoever else left it won't need it anymore what you got for me an advanced repair kit and an advanced med pack ooh, nice um. all right so we got those little guys there I don't see any other footlockers. I don't see anywhere else to go. So I guess we're back to this way. Oop. I guess we're about to see trouble. Hopefully not. He looks familiar. They look the, like the guys we saw from the hologram on Kashyyyk. And they are clearly not here to talk. It's okay. I can be here not to talk too. 
Bam. And she can go for... We'll have her go for a second force wave. Force armor. I don't think we need Night Valor though. Uh, I don't see any energy weapons, so we should be good there. And then we'll just start doing the power attacks. And what you got? What you doing? I think you just have the power blows. No, um, let's just go with the rapid shot on that guy back there. Ready, set. Yes. Bam. I will be your doom. Well, that was uh. That was quick. <laughs> okay. I was expecting a fight. I mean, four of them came running out. And not a thing to loot? Oh. What are you doing? Hiding back here. Fine. <laughs> Aww. Okay. You have defeated the murderers on us. We thank you, human, for saving us. Hey, you look familiar too. <laughs> if I had known you were there, I would have waited a couple of minutes. Yeah, no, not that one. Well, they attacked me first, or no problem? Go no problem. <laughs> if your arrival had not been so fortuitously timed, we would have been in great danger. We thank you again for saving us. Some people like to thank in, uh, currency? Just saying. Uh, what are you doing here? Why would they have attacked you? How do you know I'm friendly to you? Actually, I'm not here to save you. Um, as tempting as that is, let's start with what are you doing here? We crashed here when our mining survey vessel encountered some strange sort of energy field that disrupted our engines and power system and forced us to make a crash landing on this world. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Our ship sank far out to sea, but a handful of us were able to make it to this island. More than you see here, though. Uh. <laughs> wow. They, they like to throw you the dark side options, don't they? It's not like me to crush insects like you, but I'm bored, so... Uh, let's go with where are the rest of your companions? Many have been killed in the hands of the locals, a few tried to swim to one of the closer islands, but we have not heard from them in many days. Uh -oh. Of the ten of us who remain here, we too are the only remaining survivors. Um, the native creatures killed the others. Why don't you try to get to the other islands? Eh, we'll offer our ship. No, we dare not. If we remain here, it will only be a matter of time before the natives or the Mandalorians fight. Oh, they're here too? Of course they're here. Oh, <laughs> Yes, thank you. There are Mandalorians here. Question mark, question mark. Like, with emphasis? Yes, there are. More than you might think. Although, that may just be because they aren't as easily killed. With the weapons, they raid and kill other survivors. And can fight off the natives as well. They seem to have some sort of invisibility or late cloaking shield that hides them until they strike. You know, for as honor bound a group as the Mandalorians claim to be. They sure do like the striking from ambush thing when nobody's paying attention. I'm just saying. Uh, so where are they? North of here, by a large temple structure. We dare not approach it, for they surely will kill us. But we cannot delay here much longer. The longer we stay, the more likely either the Mandalorians or the natives will find us and kill us. 
Um, so what are the natives? We know a little beyond what we have told you already. The savages who eat the dead and attack anyone on sight. If it were not for them, this world might almost be habitable. But we cannot delay here much longer. The longer we stay, the more likely either the Mandalorians or the natives will find us and kill. Uh, alright. I already offered our ship. I'll try it again. No, dare not. Skip. So, looks like the only option is why don't you try one of the other islands? I believe that would be the best choice to swim long and hard and die tired, then stay on your comfortable ship with your companions who can defend them. Oh, wait, no, that's not what it says. <laughs> I believe this would be the best choice. The others have not returned, but it may be because they could find a way to. It would be worth the risk rather than stay here and face certain death. Can, can I have a conversation with you about risk assessment? I thank you one last time, Hima, for saving us. Yada, yada, yada. And two more were lost at sea. <laughs> oh. oh, since, you know, we got the opportunity. Let's go ahead and save that. I mean, that wasn't much of a... Uh, battle to, to recover from, but, uh, that's a lot of conversation, too. Hmm. I think the island wants us to go this way. And find more of these guys. Alright. Uh, sure. Let's do that. Then we'll do that. And then we'll double down on that. And can you see them to target them? No. Can you see them to target them? No. Alright, we'll get you guys in, yeah. in the queue in just a minute. Some of the weirdest orders to get to them, but okay. All right. Um, two roads diverge on paradise. They look about equally traveled. All right, let's uh. Let's start on this side. Oh, those obelisks don't look familiar at all. To the North Beach. Is this the way to get to Long Beach? Wait, no. That's something different. Alright, uh, hmm. All this wandering and exploration we shall do. <laughs> Filling in the map. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it seems like there's going to be a lot of story time this go around. Oh! Well, they got a couple of rankers, so this might work. Oh, no. Stay your weapons, interloper. We are not here for battle of blood. We bring you an invitation from the one. That was actually a pretty good movie. Oh, not that, the one. One. Great champion of the Verkata. Um. What kind of Hold invitation? You want I heard you like your guests. Medium well. You must have come to this planet and learned the language back before the Jedi messed up your mind. Back when you were still Revan. Oh, that's fair. You have used strange magics and weapons to slaughter our raiding parties, interloper. You have bathed in the blood of fierce warriors. Fierce. Your power and skill in battle have impressed the one. He wishes an audience with you. A great honor. Come with us now, and we'll take you to him. Uh, hmm. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have to come with you. Mm, that's tempting. But do I really want to fight all of them? Nah. Alright. 
Let's start with who is the one. Let's see if we can deflect for a moment. The one is the leader of our tribe, the great champion of the Rakata. He has feasted on the flesh of many foes. Come with us, and we will take you to him now. Uh, okay. Let's try this peacefully. It could work. What? Don't look at me like that. It could happen. It happened with the sand people. After a little bit. I mean, sure, we didn't walk into, you know, a clearly demarcated fighting circle with them. Revan, somehow I knew we would meet again. Even when you vanished, I knew you would not forget the vow you swore to me. Oh, I got news for you. And when my scouts told me of a great warrior from the sky slaughtering our raiding parties with mysterious powers and magics, I knew you had at last returned. This is about to get ugly, isn't it? Uh... Vow? I don't... Vows? We don't need no stinking vows. I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm not revving anymore. <laughs> Your words are confusing. I recognize you. You are the one called the Revan. You are the one who came here before. You are Malik, the one who served me. You promised to slay our enemy. In exchange for our aid, you swore to destroy the elders and bring us their secrets. Are you saying this means nothing to you now? Uh, all right. I'm sorry, but I don't remember any of this. What happened to your homework? I'm sorry. I didn't, my mind was destroyed. My memories were lost. I believe you, Ryan. I sense there is something different about you. Something has changed. You are not the same as you were before. Yet the power of magic, which you call the Force, is within you still. You can still destroy the Elders and fulfill your vow. What was this vow exactly? He vowed to kill the Elders and bring us the secret knowledge they protect. In exchange, we promise to use this lost knowledge to help you enter the Temple of the Ancients. When you vanish, we thought you had forgotten us or been killed by the Elders. Now that you have returned, our alliance still holds. Destroy the Elders and we will help you. It's going to be one way into the Temple. It doesn't sound like the light side bath, and so far are they to, uh, hmm. I will help you, but first you must answer my questions. I'll help you, but you have to answer my questions first. Ah, let's try it. Oh, hey, we passed a persuade check. I wonder what the DC was. Two. I suppose that if we... Okay. I will help you understand, and then you will destroy the Elder Tribe and fill the oath you swore to us long ago. Um, you should probably start with the last time I was here. I'm going to need some information if you want me to succeed. Yeah, you should probably start with the last time I was here. You arrived with Malak, your servant, three of your galactic standard years ago. My scouts saw your sky ship plummet to the earth, and they went to loot the crash site. They tried to take you prisoner, but you unleashed your magic, what you call the Force, upon them. Seeing your powers, they bowed before you and brought you here to me. There seems to be considerably less bowing. You used your power to rip the Rakata language from my mind, even as you drove basic into our skulls, so we could help you in your quest to find something called the Starforge. Yeah. That sounds like the Darth side. But the answer is you saw it lay within the Temple of the Ancients, and we could not help you enter the Temple. The Elders alone hold its secrets, guarding them with their very lives. Hmm. You 
you say my ship crashed? Was it because of the disruptor field? I know nothing of this disruptor field. But throughout the history of our tribe, ships have fallen from the sky. It has always been this way. Though in recent generations, it has become more frequent. Hmm. Can't imagine why. We have little understanding of such magic to make metal fly, but my scouts rush to take whatever we can carry from the crash sites in the hopes that we may one day unlock these secrets. Hmm. This was how we acquired our Ranker War Beasts. Several very young specimens were recovered from a crashed vessel. We raised them to adulthood, training and breeding them to be loyal beasts of war. Oh, you got a pet ranker. Um, I do need parts to repair my ship. <laughs> that I cannot help you with. Although we have recovered many strange devices from the sky ships that crashed to the earth, their use is a mystery to us. I thought you were offering me help. As a show of good faith, I will allow you to search the stores of our tribe and take whatever you find. In exchange, I know you will destroy the elders and bring the secrets they guard back to me. Okay. Sure. So, uh, tell me about the Temple of the Ancients. There's little I can tell you about the temple. <laughs> of course. I know the secrets of our ancestors are contained within, but the temple itself is barred to us. When last you were here, you and Malak sought to enter the temple. You sought ancient knowledge and a way to escape this world within its own walls. But only the elders know how to bypass the barrier that surrounds it, destroy them, and bring back their secrets to us, and we will help you enter the temple. That was our agreement. Obviously, it's not what I needed, because clearly I made it there once before. Alright, tell me more about the elders. The elders guard the ancient secrets. Within their compound is the knowledge of power and magic, including the knowledge of how to enter the temple itself. I have lost many warriors storming the gates of their compound, but they use weapons of light and fire against us, and not even our war beasts are strong enough to breach their defenses. Only like they kept the technological history of your ancestors. Sometimes we can capture an elder when they venture forth from their compound, and we have learned something about them. That is how we know they guard the ancient secrets. But no matter what tortures we inflict upon them, they will not reveal their secrets to us. They fear the knowledge they themselves guard, and they will never willingly surrender to us. Right, so maybe they're just smart enough to hide it. Alright, um, I don't see anybody to help you. I'll be back after I kill the elders. Sure, I'll kill the elders and bring you their secrets. <laughs> I see that you have changed much since our last meeting. I am confident you will not betray us this time. Yeah, about that. I also have a bridge in Manhattan to sell you. The compound of the elders is to the south, beyond the Temple of the Ancients. From torturing the few elders we have captured, we know something of what lies beyond the gates. The elders are few in number. If you can get past the exterior defenses, you could surely slaughter them all. Then you can bring us back the knowledge they guard. Uh, if I kill the elders, how can I bring you their secrets? There was one prisoner, an elder whose mind broke beneath our tortures. He raved of ancient rituals of lost power and forgotten secrets. Unfortunately, most of his dying screams made no sense. Yet in his last hours he spoke of a book, an ancient tome that recorded the most powerful knowledge of the elders and detailed the rituals that could unleash the secrets. Okay. 
So, find the guy with a book. I am certain this ancient tome will allow me to unleash what has, for so long, been hidden by the elders. Bring me this book, and I will use this knowledge within to help you enter the temple. Yeah. <laughs> when you have it, bring it here to me. Until then, you may move freely about our village. I will be waiting for your return. You might not like it, because you sound like the dark side of things. Alright. What we got in this room? We've got an elite warrior. The one has said that we must let you aid yourself to what we may have so that you may overcome the elders. quite gonna go picking locks just yet. That guy did look important. Ooh, here we go. What you got in you? A Sith Tremor Sword. Rakatan Battle Wand. Do, do, do you flick and swish and Leviosa? Stun Baton, Quarter Staff, Medium Repeating Blaster, Mandalorian Heavy Repeater. Ooh, there's a Brick Mark III, which I believe one of my minions is already toting. And it does quite well. A Bothan Droid Disruptor. The Bothan died to get us this Droid Disruptor. A Jedi Master Robe and some Mandalorian Battle Armor. I'll take it all, please. And in the next basket we have a construction kit, some adrenals. Yes, please. I will happily medicate myself. I mean... Alright, some more adrenals, computer spikes, and parts. And parts, computer spike, and some drugs. A Wookiee Warblade. Huh. A green lightsaber crystal, poison grenades, thermal detonators, cryoband grenades, plasma mines, and computer spikes. Alright. Uh, I don't think I want to pull that lever just yet. Storage bin. A Verpine Demolitions Probe. A Sensor Probe. Life Support Pack. Carbonite Projector. Battle stimulate and some antidotes. Alright, something's got to poison you. They wouldn't be giving you antidotes if it didn't. Some more drugs and parts. Alright, some more parts and spikes. And uh, performance enhancing extras. Computer spikes and parts. And a Zabrak Combat Suit, Strength Gauntlets, and a Mandalorian Melee Shield. Oh, no, there's more. And there's more. Uh, light Scan Visor, Energy Shield, a Stealth Unit, a Combat Suit, and another Energy Shield. Yeah, we might have to... We might have to re-equip re some people. All right. Nothing in here but a yum ranker. And in this last one we've got... Uh, something back there. Mm. Do I really want to go in there though? I got a bad feeling that's going to trigger some stuff that I don't want to do just yet. Alright, we uh... We might be back for that later. While I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and save. That way if I do something too completely stupid, <laughs> I get a point to, to back up and go. The lore master will surely be interested in the stories you have gained since leaving us at last row. Okay. Are you still talking? Alright. Well, what else we got? Sorry, 
filling in the mini map. It is one of those things that I always try to do. Alright, what you got for me? Nothing. The elders have held us up here long enough. Now with your help, we can at last break the stalemate. Alright. The one is studying the secrets of the Red Ricotta. In time, you will use them to unlock the knowledge trapped within the Temple of the Ancients. The Lord Master Iron. Yeah. Is there anything along this half circle here? Nope. Is there any way to walk around the other half circle? Nope. What you got? What you doing? As a reward for slaying my hated enemies, you may search our cache for whatever parts you need to repair your ship. Oh, thank you. Where is that cache? Or is the elders will soon be over with you on our side. You see, you assume too much. Okay. Yada yada. Okay, fine. Y'all are so pleased I'm here. As a word, yeah, okay. Look, you guys keep yakking about parts, and I'm not seeing any parts. I'm, ju I'm just saying. I can't even loot that basket in front of me. Are we going to have problems? Uh, Alright. The one is studying the secrets. Okay. You guys don't have a whole lot of conversation options, do you? Nope. Ah! You are named. You must be important. You're the one who defeated our warriors in combat, aren't you? That's how you know somebody. That's how you know some. Uh, the one who wields the magic to defeat the elders? Question mark? Um. Uh, I wield the force, yes. It is glorious to see such a power come to our aid when all was thought lost here on this god's forsaken island. I don't know, it doesn't look like that. To be able to command the elements in such a way is awesome to behold and must be even more so to you. <laughs> Buddy, you have no idea. Uh, I think you misunderstand what the force is. I'm sorry for not comprehending your great power. <laughs> what then are they? <laughs> uh, well, if I were an old British guy, I would give a different explanation than any of the options that are on here. The true nature of the force is being able to project your will upon reality. Nah, that's a little too dark side. The force is a natural energy that gifted people can use. Um, the force is a power that flows from all life in the universe. Except I get to say it in an old British force. Flows from life. Yeah, uh, um, you see. The, the, the main driver of the force, uh, uh, Lucas, was not clear on this aspect. Um, Rose from life. Life itself generates the force with midichlorians that we don't talk about ever since that one movie. Uh, no, <laughs> it connects all, yeah. The power over life gives you magic to create and destroy. You are truly great in your power and your wisdom. Well, I don't know. I can't wait to see what havoc you wreak on the elders. Oh, somebody's going to be wreaking some havoc, alright. You just might not like it. Alright, what we got in the foot locker? Parts, stimulants. 
And in this basket we have computer spikes and stimulants. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to do some hacking at some point soon. They wouldn't be giving us all this if they if we weren't. Alright, so that is all the baskets looted. I mean, alright. That's the way out, but it looks like we haven't fully explored the settlement, so let's uh let's try that first. Alright. Yada 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 elders. Yada yada the war. Yada yada. Same thing the last guy said. You betrayed us last time you're here, Evan. Don't let this happen again. Yeah. Okay. And there's a dead end over there. This does look a lot like the same people we are. Enclave that we went. Ooh, it's the lore master. Are you the lore master? Parts and spikes. Alright, hang on, Mr. Lore Master. I have uh baskets to inspect. Come on. Come to Revan. Stimulants and spikes. Come on. And, man. Y'all sure are, um, well stocked on the performance enhancing stuff, huh? Repair kits? Alright. Uh, we have... Inspected all the storage lockers. Let's talk to the Lord Master. Greetings, Urban. I am. I am keeper of our histories and chroniclers of the conquests of the one. Um. All right. I am not Riven anymore. Your life has been defined by your identity, Riven. Your fate. If you no longer wish me to call you this, then I shall not. But you cannot change who you are. Hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah, no. A person decides their own fate. As you will. I know better than to argue with you when you set your mind to something. Okay. I made that kind of impression. Uh, can you tell me the history of your people? <laughs> what of our people would you like to know? Buckle in, folks. This one might be a bit. Tell me how your people came to be. In the times before our most ancient histories, there was nothing you could call the Rakatan people. There were unintelligent proto rakata wandering the surface of this world. Spawned from the womb of this world, they were gifted with the brilliance of thought, but not tempered with the wisdom to use it. When the gods of the sky first spoke to them, the ground shook and heavy and fires raced across the surface of the world. They fled beneath the ground to escape the calamity and dwelled there for some time. At last the gods spoke to them in dreams, dreams of the surface. In the light, they re-emerged from the ground and found the land much changed around them. Like a dream, another dream. Gone were the plants, or the plains and valleys they had known. Instead, there were lands stretching across the breadth of the world. The world had been remade for them by the gods of the sky, and they gave thanks and fear and gratitude. Of the gods you met? The world was ruled by the gods of earth and sky both living and dead. When the sky gods remade the world, the gods of the earth who had sheltered and protected the Rakata were gone. Whether dead or asleep, they have not been heard from again. Nor do the gods in the sky listen to our pleas any longer, although we can still see their lights gleam in the heavens. Now that might have been a uh, fight. 
So we, Mordor Ricotta, are left here to our own devices to make the future we demand for ourselves. Alright. What about the first civilization then? Back in the days of the First Awakening, when our people rose from the ground and brought the light of civilization to our new world, our people spread far and wide across all the islands. Among these people, there were some that rose to greatness on the largest islands. Rakatans of vision and forethought who built great monuments to themselves and their leaders. But these cultures did not know their true strengths. They did not draw upon the knowledge of their past to feed their present. Of course, these cultures, with their centers of learning and their great temples, collapsed in riots and chaos, burning their cultures from the world in an orgy of violence. It was a thousand years of darkness before the light of First Empire rose upon the blood of the past. Okay, uh, tell me the First Empire then. With the first civilizations of our people destroyed and chaos and anarchy sweeping the islands, it seems that a time of darkness had descended upon us that would never end. Come on. Feed it up. But a strong nation of survivors yet endured. On one of the smaller islands near the equatorial regions, they had not forgotten the oldest traditions. Those learned from the gods of the earth while we dwelt beneath the surface. Taking the knowledge of their elders and passing their wisdom and skills on to the next generation by eating their flesh, they built a culture unrivaled throughout history greater even than your vaunted republic. Um, passing your wisdom by eating your flesh? For millennia this empire stood until the many islands of our world into one cohesive whole, each generation passing its strength on to the ones that followed. Was this over dinner? Ah. But fate was unkind to those great Rakata, these first ones of our kind, to rise above savagery and create a true, lasting civilization. Okay, so what happened to the First Empire? Our skin had been hardened and turned black from the time our people spent beneath the surface. But always at the fringes of society there were rumors, rumors of those of other colors who survived above the surface while we dwelt below. We can pinpoint no direct cause for the collapse of the First Empire, but it was swift and total. What had taken centuries to build and was maintained for thousands of years disappeared within ten, perhaps twenty years. Ooh. From the ancient cities we have examined, there was much fighting and death, as well as fires that burned bright and hot enough to melt the stones of the palace still glass. I thought it was Santa Claus. Oh wait, no, that's Minecraft. Two days, 6 p.m. Also in scattered fragments and records, we have heard of a people being found. A people unlike the Rakata, but taking our form, who waged a monumental war that tore civilization apart. What this war was, or those beings were, we do not know. But they are the demons of our legends now. We believe them to be gone, wiped out in that vast conflagration. But we cannot know for sure. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. That was what happened after the collapse, so tell me of the one. The great story of the one would take many days to tell in its entirety. It is my specialty, of course. Of course. What would you like to know of his great story? Oh. Uh, how he was raised, came to power, conquests. Alright, how was he raised? Born to poverty, raised in a hovel with no elders to guide him. He shared a common figure amongst Disney properties. I mean, uh, and shared the <laughs> I couldn't help it. But it is weakness. He was uniquely destined for strength and the burdens it carries with it. 
Even as youth, it was obvious that the one was destined for greatness. But when a youngling, he defeated one of the strange blue armored warriors who fall from the sky and feasted upon him. Again with the feasting on flesh. Like, uh, the respect from his battle gave him the step he needed to go forward on a path that has led him ever upward since. Alright, so how did he come to power? By adulthood, the one was held in awe by those of his tribe as both a warrior and a leader. When he challenged the chieftain of his tribe, no one doubted that he would prevail. Uh, the chieftain could see and knowing that the one would bring the tribe into greatness offered himself up without a fight. The tribe fed well and was stronger for his sacrifice. Again with the cannibalism. Like, I'm not thinking that's how that works. Under the leadership of the one, his tribe conquered all others on the island, capturing and subduing their warriors, feasting on their chieftains, and growing his own army at the same time. Hey, you, you guys love the drugs and the cannibalism. Uh, I just, you know, he was truly a force that could not be stopped. A leader unlike any we have seen in our history. He will be the one to unite us all. Uh, what about his conquests? In a teen rated fashion. <laughs> After he conquered his own island, his army had grown to a large size. He turned his eyes towards the nearest other islands in the Arctic. With each island that fell to him, his army grew stronger, his wisdom greater, with each chief given up to him, and his vision of a future for our people brighter. Before long, he had conquered every island in a month's sailing and had armies expanding in every direction. It seemed that nothing would stand against him then. You know, with the feeling the elders thought we had uh, World Empire number two. You know. But we heard of the Temple of the Ancients here on this forgotten island at the edge of the true sea. And the one was intrigued. It was a place of power to be sure, and none could doubt its significance. Driven by portents and omens, we came to this island with a thousand of his finest warriors, and here we stay. We cannot leave while the temple stands unopened, but we cannot enter while the elders stand against us. And the sits each day brooding on the fate that has led us to this impasse. Sorry about that. I accidentally bumped the uh, cable there. Yikes. Alright, uh, what else you get to tell me? What of our people would you like to know? Alright, so we got the people, we got the gods, the first empire, the first civilization, the collapse, that... that appears to be everything. Alright, I must go now. If you must, I shall remain here as I always do, listening to those who wish to speak and remember. Remember, remember. The XP from November. Oh wait, no. It's not quite November yet. Alright, you guys I already talked to. As a reward, yada yada. Yada yada. Alright. And a basket. A tisket, a tasket, computer spikes, and a basket. Okay. That appears to be everything we're going to get from the settlement here. I mean, unless we want to bust open those ranker cells and rummage around in the rankers, but that seems like a step too far. Let's go ahead and save, just in case something bad happens. I don't know if there's something crashing. The game's been running too well. Um, okay. The dramatic walk was for nothing, then? Or is it so we didn't, you know, immediately jump out and start killing some fools? Don't head sucks, Wamaji. You're a leap bar, I'm in Goku. 
Yeah, yeah. You guys got nothing new to tell me. You got something worthwhile hiding in the corner. Yes, no. No. Oh. Just a little lizard. I guess I probably shouldn't have poisoned the ones that broke free on my ship. They could have. They could have found a nice happy home here. Right, that looks like it's as far as it's going to let us go in that direction. It won't let us walk out into the ocean. These guys are probably all the same. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh, you, uh, you have a name. What do you have to say? You are the great warrior now, it seems. You came before and defeated us, and now you do so again. What? Yeah. what of it? What do you want? Yeah, I kicked your backsides pretty good. Um, what do you want? If you're as great as you appear to be, then perhaps you can help us as well. This is about the Mandalorians, isn't it? There have been many attacks on the island recently by blue and red armored warriors against our scouts. Yeah, this is the Mandalorians. Mandalorians! If that is your name for them, then yes. I was given the task of rooting out their forces, but as you can see, I have failed. Failed both the one who gave me the command and the dozen warriors who accompanied me and did not return. Uh, if you are a great warrior, then you may yet be able to destroy them where I have failed. Surely your power is beyond my ken, and those would undoubtedly prove critical. Well, I don't like to brag. Well, I do like to brag, but... Uh... Okay, I'll find them. These killers have made their base of sorts near the entrance to the temple itself. Our scouts can no longer travel safely in that area, and any passage by you towards the Elder's compound would be in danger as well. Okay. Your own best interests lie in their deaths. And... And... There have been many wrecks that have crashed into the world. Many of the items from these vessels may be of some use to you. If you bring me back the head of their leader, I could show you one of the better caches. I like caches. And charges. And checks. Oh. <laughs> Why don't I just take that information? I don't need anything from you. Why do you need his head? Why to gain his strength and knowledge, of course. Uh, dude. I don't think cannibalism works that way. Although, is it cannibalism? I mean... Mandalorian, he's not, you know, one of them, but, alright, I'll do it. Good, I can see that you're a true friend to our people, for as long as that lies on the wayside path. I'll be waiting here for you when you return. Yeah, okay. There's some box it hiding over here, or at least part of the map. No, just part of the map. Alright. And where's the part where we find our way out of this mess? That's right, that was that was the group that took me into him, so I guess I gotta go back to our little intersection there. And take the other path. Oh, I gotta wait for the slow pokes. Oh, Candorous. There you go. Is that heavy armor too heavy for you there, dude? I've seen some dwarven warriors run faster than that. Alright. Down the other way we go. And, uh... All through this series, I've been teasing the fact that, uh... Lucasfilms might be doing a trilogy based on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I'm beginning to think such a thing might not happen. It turns out that Benioff and Weiss, the directors that worked on Game of Thrones, uh, for the better and the worst, that's the Devil Exterior. 
um, have backed out of the trilogy that they were originally going to do. Um, and that, oh, that is a beautiful view. All right. So, uh, and the other trilogy that was promised was promised to Ryan Johnson until The Last Jedi came out. And then all of a sudden, nobody was talking about a trilogy promised to Ryan Johnson. Curious that. Um, not so curious, but that's a rant for another day. And looks like we got a, a couple of wild rankers. So, yeah, it, things are not looking so hot in the House of Mouse. I wonder if that's why uh, somebody else is possibly going to be taking uh, concussion. Let's throw that thermal detonator there. Bam. Let's, uh, let's get that force armor up. And then we'll hit it with a force wave and some power attacks there. And I'll get you to just send some stuff that way. Closing into attack. Come on. Slice him up. Gotta watch the health. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I thought I did. You will fall! No. Everybody should be full health. Uh, that is the weirdest door to a temple I've ever seen. Alright, what else we got going up this way? Let's figure out what our parameters are. Yeah, I do wonder if uh, the reason why Kevin Feige is now coming to help out isn't because of some of the, uh, the issues they've run into. Alright, um... Sure, let's do that. Force wave doesn't seem to be working. The armor prevents the uh, the other stuff from going, so let's do that. Okay. He's too far away to target. He's too far away to target. That'll solve the trouble. There we go. I like some XP, especially since it means my two minions get to level up. Alright, let's finish checking out this area and then we will level my minions up. And then I might be able to pick up the train I thought I was on. And, you know, for a game that was done in 2003, that is some nice graphics work. I, I, I try not to think too hard on just how far back that was and what that means. <laughs> Alright, so, ooh. I am at level 19. That means I will be capping out here very shortly. Alright, so, Candorous. You get some skills. Your one skill point will go to... Treat Injury. Your feats, left and right. Um, 
All right, that's right. We were doing the sniper shot just to... Because it's not a bad extra one to go, and seriously, the rest of them aren't worth... Aren't worth doing. I mean, I guess we could have gone all the way down the blaster... Blaster pistol proficiency, but... Uh, I have yet to run across a pistol that makes that worthwhile. Yeah, no, we'll do that. Yeah, except... And now for Jahani skills. Uh, you have two. So let's bump that. Let's bump that. Actually, since I've been carrying you around with me a lot, let's bump that awareness up to 18. And as for feats, um, wow. Oh, that's right, because she came with a bunch of feats that we really didn't want, but that's the way she came. Um, because I really wouldn't have done the conditioning. So we can do the implant level two, which will open up some opportunities for, or the master power attack. Um, or we can do the focus lightsaber. This I do seem to be leaning on the power attack, getting bigger bonuses from that would be nice. The implant would increase, oh, but I sold all my extra implant. No, I kept a couple, I kept a couple. Um, hmm. And we're not at the end yet. Although an extra plus one to attack would always be nice. Especially since the two-weapon fighting already incurs a penalty. So, what's the difference between the existing improved power attack and the master? Plus 8 to damage, minus 3 to hit. Plus 10 to damage, minus 3 to hit. Okay. So, it ups the damage, it doesn't decrease the penalty, and it only ups the damage by 2. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the weapons focus. Because that's going to add an extra one to attack. And that's going to get us a little bit better. Better bang for the feet. Because I don't think she's going to get another one. So what powers do we want? Um, I want to see what else we have that's not quite finished off. So those are dark side powers. So we're not going to do that. Let's do, yeah, let's do the stasis field. Because as long as I got the armor, mine's not going to be working. Although the Valor would be nice. The energy resistance would be nice. Now, let's do the stasis field. Okay. Alright. I guess that means that I probably ought to grab all my other minions, too. And, um... Level them up at some point. I'll probably do that off-camera between now and the next go-round. Alright, uh, before I do something stupid, let's go ahead and save game. Save that game. Okay. Um, I'm guessing the shimmering thing. There's a powerful energy shield that prevents you from passing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It really looked like some... I know what that's supposed to look like, and I think... No, because 2003 shouldn't have been tied to the CPUs, but yeah. The timing's off. That's supposed to look like it's shimmering, and it really looks like a banner flapping in the breeze. Alright, let's fill out the south side of the map now. you from Mandalore right here. We got a warrior, we got an elite, we got a captain, and we got a warrior, and another elite. Uh, hmm. Alright. Let's go ahead and knock out this captain right now. Bam. 
And flurry the ever living snot. Ooh, actually. I need to do that. Let me get a field up. Then we'll flurry the ever living snot. Okay. What are you gonna do? I'll get you to do a force wave yourself. Get a shield up yourself. Get some energy resist oh nope, no, nope, not heal. Uh, get some energy resistance and force armor and candorous can open up with a shield and start throwing them blaster bolts down at the captain all right This field. And then. Hmm. Power attack, power attack. Basis field. We already got the energy resistance. No, we don't have the energy resistance. That was one of the ones I was missing. Okay. And then the attack. And then. Candorous. And skip those and do some power attacks. Alright, there we go. Alright, um, let's bump one of those back. Let's get two more heals in there, and then we'll get that in play. He's just about dead, right? Right, let's get the improved power blast going that way. Yes. Oh, turn on. Okay, that works. They all did. And that gets everybody back up to full health. Oh, there's no lootable. Nothing lootable there. Alright, we got some nice remains there. We got an iron grenade and a Mandalorian power shield. Always nice. Especially since we got some use out of the shield we just had. Alright, uh... There are remains this way. And it's another Mandalorian shield. I think I know exactly what's going to be on this one. We've got the Mandalorian head and ooh, Mandalorian assault armor. Alright, so let's do this. Let us. This is our final level up, right? Yeah, because this puts us to level 20. And there ain't nothing after that. So attributes. We... We can put this anywhere we want. It's not going to make a significant difference. We could put it in Charisma, but it's not enough to bump us up to 14, which is what would bring that from a plus 1 to a plus 2. We could put it in Wisdom, but that's only going to bring us from 14 to 15, which is not going to change us from a plus 2 to a plus 3. Ditto for Intelligence. And you, you see the problem all the way across the board. Um, I am tempted to put it in strength only because the armor adds a plus three to strength. 
And that would mean that uh, 12 goes to 13 plus 3 to 16, which would put strength and dex on par with each other, uh, which would mean that we don't get... Uh, our attack it doesn't improve, but the damage does. And we seem to be hitting them all right. And I'd really like them to die faster. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, skills. What skills do I want? Um, I really want to crank up awareness, but it seems like a lost cause at this point. So we'll just go with uh, treat injury, repair, and computer use, because those have been highly useful to have handy on myself. All right, feats, a left and a right. Um, that's right, we wanted the highest level implant because all the other good stuff has been taken. Uh, well, except for maybe weapons focus lightsaber. That gives us another plus one to attack, which would help our attack over the damage. Um, or a third level cybernetic implant. Hmm... We're not going to get another feat after this. So, most of the implants that I've seen bump stuff that indirectly atta help attack. Or I could directly help attack. Hmm. And I don't know that I have... Mm. Yeah, let's go with the third level implant. Because I'm sure we're going to come across something else before we're done. Alright, and four powers. A lot of what we want, we're, we've kind of maxed out because most of the things that we could take is restricted by armor, restricted by armor, restricted by armor, restricted by armor. Um... Energy resistance is not restricted by armor, so that could be good. Although that is covered by a lot of people. Um, we got wound, but now we're getting into the dark side powers. Yeah, those are all the dark side powers. We're not doing that. Force suppression. That's universal, but it is restricted by armor. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and take energy resistance. Not because... because I can at least use it. Um, Alright. And accept. Bam. Done. Alright. Let's save that. Okay. Now here's the question. Uh, where do we go from here? that is the temple that goes to the central beach which is where we landed the ship and ah this must go down to the south okay you go to the south you go to the south all right before I go to the south Let's head back to the Ricotta and turn in the Mandalorian head while we're thinking about it. I have no idea how long the rest is done, and if I can get a little more XP for the other folk. I would love to go dealing with the, uh, the elders with some higher level crew. I've never had somebody say, yeah, my party's just a little too high level. I mean, we're just winning the battles too easily. I would like to be able to forget to look at the health bar and go, Oh, huh, I guess we're okay still. Is everybody caught up? Everybody's caught up. Good. Ooh, and I gotta double check equipment too. Alright, where are you, Mr. I want his head on a pike? Oh, not on a pike, on a plate. With a little salt. And a garnish. 
I still don't think the cannibals are much that way. You have returned. You have managed to slay the aliens who massacred my warriors? Uh, yes, I have. They're dead. The whole party's dead. <laughs> uh, I don't have to do you dirty work, but I can't. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. They're dead. Thank you for what you have done. The souls of my warriors can rest at peace now. Because somebody did your dirty work. And with this head, I can leave him dead and go go on from back. Oh, wait, no. I can gain his strength so that we may, we may overcome his people in the future. And now for that reward I promised. I do like rewards. Okay. You ran to the water? Oh. Okay. I found these while searching among the wreckage. I don't know what they do, but I hid them here quite some time ago. They're yours now. Well, okay then. Journal entry. XP. Items lost. Oh yeah, the head. <laughs> Alright. Thermal shield generator. I like the sound of that. Verpine prototype shield. I like the sound of that. Verpine Zal alloy mesh. Could be nice. Thermal detonator. A deadly plasma mine. As opposed to the non-deadly kind. That only tickle a little. Advanced repair kit. And advanced med pack. Alright. Out of curiosity. Uh, because we... Okay, I cannot wear any of the armor I've picked up because that is heavy armor. That is also heavy armor, and that is also heavy armor. Okay. And that Zabrick combat suit is shockingly lightweight and not upgradable. The regular combat suit is even more lightweight and not upgradable. Yeah, I, I could do the robes. You get an AC of 25, or I could do the heavy exoskeleton and get an AC of 34. Hmm. Alright, what about you, Candorus, my heavy wearing friend? You've already got Kalo Nord's battle armor, which is fully upgraded. Uh, the Mandalorian battle armor, so 23 to 21. Ooh. Never mind. What about the Mandalorian Assault? That is the same. And it is not upgradable. That's sad. Alright. And the Verpine Zal Alloy Mesh is the same. And not upgradable. Well, that's just sad. Fine. I'll take the Bounty Hunter's Junk. That was better. Alright, that reminds me. I can now pick up some of the better implants now. So right now I've got immune to critical hits and awareness plus one. Immune to mind affecting, immune to critical... Oh, that's the same thing. Immune to poison, always nice. Yeah, so that just unlocks the immune to poison out of what I have handy. Uh, I'll stick with what I got for the moment, but it's good to know that that's a thing. And let's see, what else did I want to check on? Oh, the belt. Right now I got a plus three to reflex from the advanced adrenaline amplifier. Thermal shield generator. Damage immunity, 100% versus fire. Okay, this generator forms a magnetic shield around the wearer, which, while ineffective against most modern weaponry, does allow for the ablation of directed heat. Okay. Yeah, that's not... Uh, stealth is going to give me plus six. Or plus two. Yeah. All right. All nice things to have, but nothing that is actually useful at the moment. Fun. 
All right, let's head back to the south side now, and let's go talk to some elders. See what they have to say. See if they know what the deal with episode nine is. Come on. Guys, it's not that hard. Something I don't like about the minions when they can't keep up. Is there no tram that runs from the north side to the south side? I see advanced technology. No rail. No ship. No other means of accelerated transport. Alright, down to the south beach. And let's see what these guys have to say. Something tells me... Oh. Well, that would be the game cluing me in that there are <laughs> mines here. Good to know. Alright. Uh, ooh, plasma vent. Disable. No, they're not that good. Alright. Uh, really hoping for one of the other ones. Can I disable this one? There we go. Oh, there's ship parts in here. Nice. Can I disable this one. Or not. I'll at least get the ship parts. Oh, for serious. Come on. I know, that's why I was walking over there. Alright. Well, I didn't get quite what I was looking for, but, um... Oh no, I got the ship parts. I, it just, you know, ate into my health a little bit. That was not the healthiest way to go about that. Alright, this I can do. I can do this all day. Alright, and you, madam. Actually, get, nope, not a heal. Not a power attack. You are gonna hit everybody up with force armor. And then Knight's Valor. And then you're gonna power attack some fools. And you, good sir, are going to triple down on the platform. Watch the health there. Alright, we got all these med packs. 
might as well use them, right? I mean, what are we doing? Saving them for a rainy day? I don't think it works that way. Alright, um, uh, let's check this side where the... There's no electricity <laughs> randomly shooting out of, uh, out of statues and such. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, something tells me one side's gonna say destroy the... They're both going to say, destroy the other side, and I will have you trust me. So, uh, the real question is which side do I choose? So far, I got we eat their face for power. Or, these guys. You are not Ricardo. What is your business here, off-worlder? I... Think the Starforge. You, you are Revan. The Council wishes to speak with you. You may enter. Uh, you know, I'm really trying to ditch that name, but uh, if that gets me through the door... Settlement entrance. And save this before I walk in here. Just in case. We of the Elder Council did not expect to see you again, Rogue. We thought you had betrayed us. Why have you returned to our village after all this time? Um... Everybody seems to think I betrayed them. I mean, I was Darth Revan then, so probably did, but... I spoke to you once before. What did I want? Is this some type of test, Revan? Some type of trick? You came seeking our aid. You came in search of a way to enter the Temple of the Ancients. You claim to be seeking a way to destroy the Star Forge, and we were foolish enough to believe you. Unaware of your true nature, we helped you enter the Temple. But you betrayed us, Revan. Instead of destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleashed the evil of the Star Forge upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Oh, is that why you just, like, printed out some chips? And now you stand before the Council of Elders once more. And once more we ask you, for what reason have you returned, Revan? Uh... <laughs> Enough talking, it's time for bloodshed. I'm sorry, I have no memory of our last meeting. Do you think we are fools, Irvin? Do you think we have forgotten how you lied to us last time? Why should we believe you now? Uh, I see this is going nowhere, I'll just kill you instead. No. My mind was destroyed. All my memories were lost. It changed me. I am not who I once was. They say that the experiences of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true you have lost your memories, then perhaps you are changed. But how are we to know that this is not some trick, Revan? Ah, uh, persuade. I am a servant of the light now. I want to make amends for the mistakes of the past. Part of me that was Revan is dead. I am now a non-junior. I regret the mistakes of my past. I want to make amends. Enough of this. I am the Dark Lord. Bow before me. I see this is going nowhere. I'll just kill you instead. No, I want to make amends for the mistakes of the past. No. Nope. You say you're not who you once were yet. Here in our world, we repeat the pattern of your last visit. Oh, I mean, the island is kind of arranged that way. Like the last time, you have crashed here. Like the last time, you have come seeking our help. How have you changed, Draven? Uh, the one wanted me to kill you, but I have come here peacefully. I cannot prove what is in my heart. I only ask you to judge me by my actions. Eh, let's try the first one. 
Again, you're only repeating the patterns from before. You know we hold the secrets of entering the temple. That is why you do not attack us. Oh, come on, man. Big stretch. Right. You come in the guise of a friend, but how do we know you're not going to betray us again? Alright, uh, I cannot prove what is in my heart. I only ask you to judge me by my actions. <laughs> we sense you mean the words you speak, eventually. But words are easy to say. It is actions that prove the true nature of your character. You must prove to us that you are not, in the, sa you are not the same as you once were. You must prove that you have changed. <laughs> Actually, I've decided I'm just going to kill you. No, how can I prove that? Recently, several of our scouts were captured by the one. Most of them were brutally slaughtered. But we have information that one of the scouts is still alive. They will use unimaginable tortures to force the scout to reveal everything he knows about our tribe. And once the one is done with him, the scout will be executed like the others. You must prove you have truly changed by risking your own life to save another. Rescue our scout from the clutches of the one, and we will consider helping you. Okay. So, I got the quest from one to wipe out a tribe and eat their face, or to go rescue a scout and prove that you mean well by your actions. Something tells me these guys are the late side guys, so let's, uh... Do you want me to go in there and kill the one? Forget it. Uh, I am the Dark Lord Reborn. Maybe I can negotiate. We would prefer if you could find some way to save the prisoner without bloodshed, but we don't believe that will be possible. The one does not like to negotiate. Uh, doesn't matter what he likes. So if I save the prisoner... You'll help me. Risking your life to save the prisoner would show us that you are sincere about making amends for the past. Alright. Okay, I'll help you, but I have some questions. We will tell you what we can, Revan. Stop calling me that. Uh, do you know how to disable the disruptor field that caused my ship to crash? The disruptor field is one of the ancient defenses of the Starforge, a great generator within the Temple of the Ancients fuels it. You will have to enter the temple to disable it. Alright, well that answers that part. I want to ask you about something else. We will tell you what we can. I have questions about you, your tribe, your history, the temple. You should speak to Osara, Osfra, the keeper of history. He is located near the great computer on the far side of our enclave. But I will do my best to answer your questions. Tell me about your tribe. We are the elders. Our ancestors were the priests of the infinite empire, guardians of the temple, and the keepers of technology. After the warlords unleashed their weapons of mass destruction and devastated the world, our ancestors knew we could never allow such technology to be used again. We sealed the knowledge of destruction within the temple, and for the past thousand generations we have kept vigil here, ensuring the knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands. Good for vigil. Uh, if you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Osra, the Keeper of History. Alright, uh... More questions about your history? You should speak to Osra. Okay. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Alright, um... Hmm. Can you tell me about the Starforge? The Starforge is a blade upon our world, an orbiting symbol of the failures and horrors of our past. We have long searched for a way to destroy it. And now you finally have given us that chance. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Osara, the Keeper of History. 
I have no questions about your history. Tell me about the Empire. Our history is a long one, but it is also one filled with bloodshed and sorrow. Once the Rakata ruled all the known galaxy, but our Empire was destroyed by our own corruption. I wonder if these people are where the same people came from. If you wish to know more, you should ask the Keeper of History. Alright, um... What do you know about the other Rakata here? There is only one other group of Rakata on this island, the Tribe of the One. They would slaughter us if they could, hoping to unlock the secrets hidden away in the temple. Um... Have you tried reasoning with the one? When the one first arrived on the island, we sent emissaries under a flag of truce to try to ne and negotiate with his tribe, but all our envoys were brutally slaughtered. We do have the technology to destroy the one and his followers, but if we kill them all, then we will only prove that we have learned nothing over the past two or twenty thousand years. I guess that's been a minute. The one is mad with power. We choose not to fight him, so our only course of action is to stay here in isolation, where we are safe, just as we have done for the past 20,000 years. And nobody wants to know? If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to the Keeper of History. Uh, Alright, uh, the Temple of the Ancients. Yeah. That is the last one on this list. The temple is a sacred place, but also a place of great danger. Within its walls, the terrible secrets of our ancestors have been locked away. We ourselves can no longer enter the temple road. We do not have the power of the Force. But you can enter with our help. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Osra, the Keeper of History. Wait a second. Not a one of them is force sensitive? Alright, I'll be back after that. Prisoner rescue. The prisoner is being held in the chamber of the one himself. He will return up to us once he is free. Until then, you have free run. And some XP. Alright. What about you, Mr. Counselor? Yes, Reven. Is there something you need? you some questions. We'll tell you what we can. Oh, okay. Elder counselor. Yeah, okay. So you guys are probably all going to be the same. Let's just double check, but I deeply suspect that this is going to be all the same kind of deal where we got do we need to know more about us? Speak to our keeper of history? Yeah. Okay. You guys are going to be all chatty chatty about nothing in particular. And they did say I could do the... You know what, let's save this real quick. I know I'm 90% sure that they said free reign. But uh, on the off chance that they're mad about that. Well, they got construction kit and some drugs. Yeah, the Rakata seem to be uh, big on that. Alright, nothing else in there. That basket doesn't go anywhere. This one does, though. And some more drugs and computer spikes. Okay. Alright, come on. Oh, you unnamed fools probably got nothing to do with Alright, what we got in the box? We've got repair kits and med packs. We've got repair kits and med packs. You also said. Ah, are you? No. Nope. I was just trying to the lower guy. And we've 
we've got repair kits and medbacks. And grenades. It would be nice if we had some grenades. Alright, uh let's try this way first. Yada yada, elder elder. Yeah. Ah, you're the guy I need to see. Greetings once again, Revan. I am glad that you have returned. I couldn't believe that you had betrayed us, despite what the council said. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. My name is Orson. I am the keeper of history for the elders. The last time you were here, you had many questions for me. Guess what? I got many questions again. The council told us of all the destruction of your memories, but still I had hoped you might recall something of our past discussion. You and me both, buddy. Um... You're a historian, maybe I could ask you some questions, look on the bright side, we can have all those discussions again. I wish I could remember, but I don't. Sorry. Eh, look on the bright side. Yes, I suppose that is true. As you can imagine, I have few opportunities to share my knowledge with those outside our enclave. Actually, I do have a few questions for you. Yes, of course. Oh, you must forgive me if some of this starts to seem familiar. After all, we did go into the history of the Rakata at some length the last time you were here. I will do my best to enlighten you with this knowledge I have. What subject do you wish to learn about? Uh, Alright, let's start with the Star Forge, because I don't know if the rest of those are going to be the same or not, but let's start with the Star Forge. Much of our knowledge of the Star Forge is lost. It was built during the height of the Infinite Empire long ago. All we know now is that it cast a terrible shadow across our world. That was less helpful than I was expecting. We elders have longed to destroy the Star Forge for many generations to cleanse ourselves of its evil presence. But we have neither the knowledge nor the capability. Hmm. When you and Malak last came here, we saw you as saviors. We let you into the temple so you could destroy the Star Forge. But instead, you harnessed its dark power for yourselves. Hmm. You awakened the dormant evil. Your fleet helped spread the corruption of the Star Forge throughout the galaxy. And now you return as our last hope to stop what you once started. That sounds familiar. Do you know how to dis disable the disruptor field? Yes. The disruptor field is one of the ancient defenses of the Star Forge. A great generator within the temple fuels it. You'll have to empty. Okay. You're about as helpful as the last historian I talked to. Uh, what else we got? I'll do my best to Um. Hmm. What do you know about the Temple of the Ancients? The Temple is a sacred place of terrible secrets. All the dark mysteries of the Rakata are housed within its stone walls, which pulse with the living power of the Ancients. A little more flowery, but okay. Only those who can command this power, what you call the Force, can enter the Temple. Many centuries ago, there were still a few among us who could pass within its walls. Are there seriously no force-sensitive people anywhere here? But living in the shadow of the temple, we became desensitized to his power. As you yourself said the last time you were here, we elders are no longer force-sensitive. Hmm. I didn't even think that was possible. Okay. Can any of the Rakata enter the temple? None of the Rakata can control the force now. But long ago, there were those who could pass through the barrier. That's sad. Our ancestors created the energy shield around the building as a second line of defense. But the energy shield was created using technology within the temple itself. I see your problem now. Once we helped you and Malik to get past the barrier, 
You discovered a way to lower the shield at will from within the temple itself. After this, you had no further need of us. Oh, the once hallowed ground of the temple is now overrun with the followers of Mount who can command the force, those you call the Dark Jedi. Thanks for the information, I guess I can kill you now? Seriously? I have to go, want to ask about something else, do you know how to disable... Alright, let try that. Alright. Um... Well, you know the other Rakata tribes. Many centuries ago, other Rakata began to emerge from the underground warrens where they had sought shelter from the devastation. But those Rakata were as violent as the warlords they had fled many, many ago. After centuries of battle and bloodshed, the tribe of the One has emerged as the strongest of them all. Okay. Now the One, lured by half-remembered legends of his people, lust to possess the terrible power locked inside the temple. We can never allow that to happen. Have you tried reasoning? When the One first arrived on the island, we sent emissaries. All the envoys were slaughtered. We do have the technology to destroy him. The one is mad with power. Okay. Alright, I want to ask you about something else. Tribe of Elders. We Elders are descendants of the Holy Priest caste of the Infinite Empire, survivors of the terrible weapons unleashed by the warlords during the final collapse of our empire. Inside the Temple of the Ancients, our ancestors were safe from the devastation that forced the other Rakata to flee underground. We emerged from the temple to find an empty and ruined land. At last, we understood the terrible power of our own technology. To ensure it could never be unleashed upon us again, we sealed the ancient knowledge within the temple. Hmm. Information, I think I kill you now. Um, right. uh, the elders beginnings. Our okay, this is new information. Long ago, we recounted we're a great spacefaring people. Our ships combined technology and the power of the force, and we were able to pilot them to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Everywhere we went, we found civilizations less advanced and weaker than our own. But instead of helping them advance, we conquered and enslaved them. Back then, we could still command the force that, combined with our advanced technology, made our march of conquest irresistible. Soon, the infinite empire stretched across the entire galaxy. Over time, we lost our ability to use the Force. Some believe we had used the Force for so long that we evolved biologically and became immune to its effects. In any case, we, once we lost our sensitivity to the Force, our empire began to fracture. We had to revert to more conventional space travel using inferior technology. Our ultimate collapse was inevitable. But how did the Empire collapse? Long ago, the Rakata ruled all the known galaxy. All the species bowed down to us, but we were a corrupt people. In our fall from glory, there are terrible lessons that must be learned. The Infinite Empire was built on slaughter. It was inevitable it should collapse upon itself. War, plague, and slave rebellion forced us to retreat back here to our hidden home world. Not so hidden. Here, conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Terrible weapons of mass destruction were unleashed, driving most of the Rakata far beneath the earth for shelter. The devastation ravaged the world, our people were scattered, our cities leveled, our very existence all but erased. The glory of the infinite empire is now nothing but dust and bones. In the past few thousand years, small bands of Rakata have begun to return to the surface, but they are primitive and superstitious creatures. Only the elders remain, remember anything of the true past. Well, that kind of bears out what we've seen. Um, all right. 
So we got the beginning, the collapse, the tribe of elders, the other tribes, the star forge. All right, we gotta go now. Yes, of course you do. You have much to do and little enough time to try to do. <laughs> but if you ever have any questions for me, I will be happy to try and answer them. Sweet, XP. You see, game masters, it is worth doing some RP XP, some role playing XP. Uh, I am happy that Arcadius uh, in chat down there when he DMs he, he does give us uh, XP for stuff like that hmm. computer All right, let's check the footlocker first raid the medicine cabinet oh. and spike some parts and construction kits oh my parts and spikes and other stuff. Yeah, I still haven't run into a computer that we gotta hack into or anything. But they seem to be giving us a lot of spikes and parts. Makes me wonder if it isn't in the temple itself. Because they're giving us a lot of parts and spikes. And drugs. But, you know. And med kits for that matter. I mean, if we're going full-on paranoia. All right, parts and meds and stuff. I probably should have used some of the meds on the Mandalorians, if we're being honest, but, uh... All right. It's a little bit uh, past when I've been stopping here lately, but let's see if I can finish gathering the information and be ready to, uh... Go take care of the other thing. Use verification. Species. non ricotta Access to auxiliary archives is restricted to Ricotta or approved servants. Slaves may not access the archives. I do serve the Ricotta. How else would I learn the language? Logical. User speaks the language of the Ricotta in order to serve them. User added to authorized list of non Ricotta. Okay. Further information can be obtained from the main archives within the Temple of the Ancients. Downloading codes to bypass exterior energy fields surrounding the temple. Yes. I guess that means I don't have to kill either tribe. My archives are ready for information retrieval and download into remote data pad storage. Please select a topic. <sighs> Hey, let's start with the big one, because it doesn't matter anything else if I can't get off this planet. So how can I shut off the disruptor field? Searching, retrieving information. The disruptor field is controlled by a generator within the Temple of the Ancients. Once inside the temple, the disruptor... Are you kidding me? That's the same thing the guy outside the door told me. Where is that controller? All right, tell me about the Starforge. No information on Starforge tech. Information may be recorded in the databanks within the temple. Uh, go to the temple. The temple is a sacred place of ancient secrets. All the dark mysteries of the Ricotta are housed within its stone walls. Um, only those who can come in the force can enter. Men among the Ricotta still have this ability that the elders are seeking to breed a force sensitive being. Oh, that's new information. Okay. Uh, so, how can I get into the temple? The shields constructed by the elders to guard the temple are controlled from the summit of the structure. Anyone inside the temple may temporarily shut down the shields. Okay. There is only one way to gain access to the temple from the outside. The shields are designed to lower it in response to a ritualistic chant detailed in the ancient text held by the Keeper of History. Alright, so I'm going to have to have one tribe or the other help me get in. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do anything of it. To protect the secrets of the temple, the chant will only work if spoken by the Rakata. No other species can create the proper intonations that will trigger a shield deactivation. Okay. Alright, um... 
Right, that's the temple, the Star Forge. How about the secrets? Search The secrets are locked within the temple. Okay. The elders sealed this information away to prevent the technology from falling into the wrong hands. Yeah, about that. I need to bring it to you. Alright. Already asked about the Star Forge, right? Yep. The Force Field, the Temple. What about the Elders? Seeking. The Elders are descended from Rakata Priest Cast. Okay. Nothing new here. Deprived of the knowledge of the ancients, the other Rakata degenerated and primitive tribes engaged in constant warfare. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty much everything we got from that guy over there, but it is kind of nice to have it and to know that that is a thing that is around. Alright, let's try to... Oh, that was weird. Alright, we rooted that place. That's the direction we came from. Let's finish searching this out, and I bet we can get one tribe or the other squared away before this is all said and done. Elder Worshippers. The Elder Ricardo is all too smart for the city, but our defenses drove them back. Okay. Then you guys are... not worth my time here. <laughs> Do I really want to hit the gong? I really want to hit the gong. I'm not going to hit the gong. Alright, and researchers on log. All the researchers. Oh. Okay. Rakatan Warrior. Oh. You have returned at last, Raven. I was beginning to wonder what had happened to you in the temple. You know me, nothing much happened. What are you doing? What are you doing? What am I doing? You mean the purpose of my research here? Yep. What is your research? As you may have heard from our historians in our distant past, we meld the technology in the forest to create truly wondrous effects. We guided ships across the galaxy using our power and incorporated its use into all aspects of our society. We got it. Uh, but something happened somewhere. Yeah, something happened. What happened? There are a variety of theories on what happened. Perhaps we became immune to the effects of the force from overuse. Perhaps our breeding habits rendered our species insensitive to it over time. No, truly no. The only discernible result was that we could no longer command the forces we had. The power had escaped us. With his loss, our technologies could no longer hold us as far above the subjugated races we ruled, and our empire began to crumble. The races we subjugated rose up, plagued and swept our rules. We could do nothing against all these calamities. In the end, only the members of our race left here on our homeworld survived. Uh, no Ricotta can use the Force. Every once in a while, there's an individual born who has an affinity for the Force. Maybe not the ability to use it directly, but at least the ability to remain open to it. Okay. I believe this is a sign that whatever genes or species have that gave us the ability to use the Force are not completely gone. Perhaps when the ancestors of the current tribes fled beneath the surface, some retained this trait. We have been working for years to isolate this gene in an attempt to resurrect it in our species as well. Oh. We of the Elders do not have Force sensitivity ourselves, but by harnessing the genetic structure of other tribes, we hope to be able to breed the gene back into our species. Um... You're capturing prisoners for their 
jeans? You make us the only monsters. Well, you know, uh, the shoe fits. We capture them, yes, but only because the tribes have become extremely xenophobic in their millennia trapped on this world. They would not aid us willingly and kill their messengers when we ask. Doesn't make it right. We believe that if we get a large enough genetic sample, we can reintroduce the recessive force-sensitive genes back into our people, allowing us to once again access the heritage of our past. Not wise, though. Uh, you're trying to restore the empire, aren't you? No, we do not want to fall down the path that so twisted our people before. This time, perhaps we can redeem ourselves in the eyes of the galaxy and become a force of good, so to speak. Now, close to you to finishing your research. We are quite far along, having had centuries to work already, but with the arrival of another tribe on our island, we have been restricted in our movements to just our enclave. Hmm. We've captured a few of their warriors, but the ones that really interest us is their leader, the one. Ah. Uh, this is this is about the one being able to eat the knowledge out of uh, out of the people in there. Those with the genes that we seek seem to be marked, marked with a destiny that causes them to rise above others as we did as a species early on. Oh, that wasn't what I was going to think of, but okay. In hearing the stories his warriors tell of the one, we believe that he may hold some of the genes we seek. He may be marrying for sensitivity. Unfortunately, he and his people are much too aggressive in violence for us to ever get close enough to study him. His corpse would not do either, as only a living, working body is of use to us. Hmm. Maybe in time, though, the differences between our peoples will lessen enough that we may study one another and gain the information we Yeah, I'm not sure this is a good thing. We would not revert to our old ways, rest assured. We merely seek data on genetic drifts and changes in the millennia of our imprisonment here. If only we had access to the knowledge of our ancestors. They must have known much, much more than us. They had a much greater population sample to work with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still not hearing where this is a good support. I believe that in the temple there may be the information we seek, perhaps in the old archives or scrolls, maybe even in an ancient computer, if any is still functioning. Yeah, I, I like that better than yeah, harvesting. This information will help us greatly in our work, and we will be very grateful to you for it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um... What do you know about the temple? It's ancient. <laughs> Thanks. That we know is guarded by advanced technology that only four sensitive races can penetrate. Recently we have seen ships coming and going from it, similar in design to ones that came at about the same time you did many years ago. Yeah, that would be the Empire, or the Sith at least. Other than that, we do not know, although we would dearly like to find out. Wouldn't you like to know? Is there anything else? Alright. Time to go. Very well then. Come and go as you please. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's see. It is... Yeah, we got a little bit of time. As much as I really don't want to... Go too, too much later. I think we can head back up to where the one is. Clear that place out. Because, um... I would really like to get to the part where we're ready to handle the temple before the start of the next go-round. But, um... 
Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and return to the Ebon Hawk. And this is where... This is where we're going to save it. So let me go back. Let me go back on the ship. Because there's a couple of people I, I definitely want to check and see if any of the stuff that we've picked up is an upgrade. Uh, I definitely... <laughs> with these ship parts, you may be able to repair the Ebon Hawk's hyperdrive. Yeah, I may. Or I may not. Um, oh, that's right. I picked up a lightsaber crystal, didn't I? So... I thought I did. Oh, it's just a green crystal. Never mind. Okay. I thought it was something useful. Uh, was any of this armor upgradable? Nope. All that's done, so... This is where I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Are you sure? I am sure. And I'm going to switch over to the credits. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. It looks like we've got one, maybe, yeah, prob probably about two more weeks before, before we're done with uh, Knights of the Old Republic. And right now I'm looking at two games to, uh, I'm probably going to do, all right, let me back up. Now I know we're at the right time to stop because I'm tripping over my own words. All right, so we get about two weeks, plus or minus one, to finish up the uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm going to do a an episode afterwards between season one and season two, a little postseason wrap up. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, lessons learned and that sort of thing. And then we're gonna start season two. I need to double check and make sure that it will work well with, that I can find an emulator that works well with XSplit, but we're gonna really crank up the Wayback Machine. So, you know, this went back to PC gaming in 2003. We're gonna go a little bit further back and I haven't decided which one of the two games yet. But it's either going to be Crystallis from the NES, the classic Nintendo Entertainment System, or it's going to be Chrono Trigger from the SNES. I'm tempted to do Chrono Trigger because clean, helping mom move, we found my old Nintendo Power Guide. Th those of you of an age and older will remember that back in the day, not only before YouTube, but before the internet as a thing. <laughs> when you wanted to look up how to do stuff in a game and how to, how to succeed in the game, you had to go down to the bookstore and you had to buy a magazine called Nintendo Power. And you had to hope that they were actually worth the money you were spending. Because there was no free wiki guides or anything like that. There was no YouTube walkthroughs. There was no... Uh, you had to hope it was written clear and written correctly. So it's either going to be Crystallis or Chrono Trigger. Uh, whichever whichever one I don't do for Season 2, I'll probably do for Season 3. So don't, you know, well, although we'll see at the end of Season 2. Right now I'm tentatively thinking that those are Seasons 2 and 3. Just whichever, whichever way it goes, we'll see. Um, so there that is. And uh, thank you for joining along. If you are watching on Mixer or Twitch, don't forget to follow along. You'll get notified when I go live. I do this Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I usually go until about 8, 830. And on Tuesdays, I also play Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server. It's a small Let's Play survival uh, series that I do with Arcadius and Rayest. And we're getting ready to wrap up season zero, our training season. Good. Trying to get used to all the streaming stuff and, and producing videos and that sort of thing. And uh, 
Right now we're looking at starting season one in January and bringing on a new member of the server. So that, that'll be exciting. So if you want to get caught up to what we've done and where we're at, join us Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And all the archives for this for Coffee Craft and for the other series that I've done are available on YouTube. So if you're watching live, that link is down in the description below. If you're watching on YouTube, congratulations, you found it. Please make sure you subscribe so you get notified when new stuff gets uploaded, especially since I do plan on doing more with the channel than just live stream archives. I've got some produced content that I'd like to do, some stuff unrelated to gaming, some stuff tangentially related to gaming and various and sundry other things so uh subscribe that way you will uh that well, that way you'll be able to follow along this wonderful journey so with all that said and done thank you have fun and i'll see you next time